This is the equipment that will be needed to monitor central venous pressure. A simple water manometer, a line level, extension tubing, a three-way stopcock, IV fluids with administration set, and white tape. We're going to set up a central venous pressure monitoring system on this dog right now using a simple water manometer system. The first thing I've done is set the water manometer here with the zero level right even with the dog's right atrium. And I've actually used a line level to show me where that zero mark should be. And by holding one edge against the, roughly where the dog's right atrium would be, I can set the zero mark so that it's level with that right atrium. Once the manometer has been set, note we've set it on this dog in sternal recumbency. It'll be very important to take all the subsequent readings on this dog in the same exact position so that the zero mark remains consistent. Now I can go ahead and take that CVP reading. First I'll remove the little cap from the top of that manometer and then I'll use my fluid bag to actually fill the manometer to the top. I have everything connected to a three-way stopcock right here. You can see the manometer is connected here, my fluid bag is connected here, and the final piece is connected to the dog's jugular catheter. I'm going to begin by shutting the stopcock off to the dog, and when I open the fluid bag, the manometer will fill all the way to the top with fluid. Now that the manometer is filled, I can actually turn the stopcock off to the bag and open it to the dog. You can actually see the fluid level as it moves through the manometer tubing. It will continue to fall until it equilibrates with the level of fluid in this dog's heart right now. We can see that the fluid level has stopped right around three centimeters of water. That's a really normal CVP reading for this dog. We like to see normal CVP at under five centimeters of water. But because of the variation in positioning and setting up the manometer, we really establish a baseline for each patient and then look for a change of five centimeters or more.